Have you ever flown a kite before? A kite is made of fabric and sticks of all different kinds attached to a string so that it'll fly in the air when there's wind outside. The title of the book that we're reading today is Kite Flying by Grace Lynn. Kite Flying is the title of the book. That means it's the name of the story. Grace Lynn is the author of this book. That means that Grace is the one who wrote the words for this story. Look at the picture. Have you ever made a kite that looks like this? I know the kites that I have had didn't look nearly as intricate and detailed as this kite. Let's read about kite flying and find out how this girl got such a well-decorated kite. This is the title page of the book. It tells us the title again, Kite Flying, and the author's name, Grace Lynn. Here's another title page. This one has a detailed illustration or picture. What does it look like the girl and her family are doing? This is a cash register, and this girl's wearing a uniform. So what do you think the setting of this picture is? The setting of this picture is a store where the girl and her family can buy supplies for making a kite. Did this girl just go and buy her kite at Walmart? No, this family bought sticks and glue and paintbrushes and fabric and paint and ribbons so that they could make a very detailed, beautiful kite. Let's read Kite Flying by Grace Lynn. This page is the table of contents. It tells us what stories are contained in this book. You can see the family driving home from the store now. We'll be reading the story Kite Flying that starts on page two. It's realistic fiction. Fiction means that it's not true. Fiction means that this story did not really happen. But when it's realistic fiction, it means everything that's in the story could happen in real life, even though it didn't. This is the only story we'll be reading on this video. If you want to read about Kite Festival today on page 24, you'll need to watch the next video for that. The wind is blowing. It is a good day for kites. What things can you see in the illustration that help you know the wind is blowing? Look at how the grass is slightly bent over. Look at the leaves flying off the bush. Look at the small swirls in the background on the illustration of the sky. And what about the character's hair? These are all ways that we can see in the illustration that what they're saying is true. The wind is blowing. That means it is a good day for kites. Mama joins sticks together. Look at Mama in the illustration. What do you think she will use to join those sticks together? Baba glues the paper. If Baba is the one gluing the paper, we know this character must be Baba. What do you call the person in your family that looks similar to him? We usually say Dad, or maybe Daddy or Dada, but this girl calls her father Baba. 
and Baba is gluing the paper to the sticks. May May cuts whiskers. Who is May May in this photo, in this illustration? That must be the younger sister, because she's the one using scissors to cut the whiskers. What do you know of in real life that usually has whiskers? Cats have whiskers. Some dogs can have short whiskers. Even dads and grandpas can have whiskers on their face. I wonder what kind of whiskers May May is making out of the blue ribbon. JJ paints a laughing mouth. There's another sister using a paintbrush and paint to paint a laughing mouth. So we know that the kite will have a laughing mouth and whiskers. Think in your head what you think the kite will look like when it's finished. I add dragon eyes. So the main character who's telling the story has made some beautiful eyes that she thinks looks like dragon eyes. So what kind of animal are the family making on their kite? A dragon. You can't see the whole thing, but look at how the kite is turning out. Would you want your kite to look similar? The same? Or would you want your kite to look different from this family's kite? We all help attach the noise maker. What do you think a noise maker is? Why would they want a noise maker on their kite? Dragon, are you ready to fly? Look at the picture. Are there any clues in the illustration to tell you whether it's windy enough to fly a kite or not? Do you think the family's dragon kite will fly? Let's see. Look up! Our dragon is talking to the wind. Did the family's dragon, dragon kite get off the ground? What do you think he is saying? If the dragon kite is flying in the sky and talking to the wind, what do you think the dragon kite might say to the wind? Here in this picture, the words tell us about real kite flying times and why people that live in the same part of the world as the characters in our story like to fly kites. Look at all the different kinds of kites flying on the nice windy day. I hope you enjoyed reading about kite flying and maybe you can go home and make your own kite and on a nice windy day See if it will fly and talk to the wind. I hope you enjoyed this fictional book, meaning that it's not real, but it is realistic fiction, meaning that it could be real and you could make a kite and fly it off in the wind as well.